Yo, old Snapchat, so my plan since the beginning of future is basically been to put out these future ideas, get feedback from other people, package them into little memes that can be spread to find the entrepreneurs who can make those futures reality. I just really love that idea of being able to put out a little future vision, a barely formed vision of the future that's positive, um, that spreads out to the right people who can gather around it, build on it, and then make it happen. In 2016, basically of all the social platforms and video platforms out there, Snapchat's really the only one that can get close to that use case, um, but you still need a large audience, a large following to make it happen. Because from the creative producer side, my side, like it's very easy for me to put out a quick thought. It's just a matter of like holding down your thumb for 10 seconds, um, add whatever text and overlays you want, and then add it to your story so it automatically edits it to you. And then although it's not quite the culture to, for someone to sit through uh, someone talking for 50 snaps about one idea, um, it is still quite easy to consume these snaps, these stories. But I've been noticing more and more lately, particularly on Android, so I'm on a Nexus 6P, which is a really expensive phone. Um, the audio is really terrible, the video is really terrible. I don't know whether it's Snapchat on my phone, who knows. From the beginning, I've also wanted to do like daily YouTube videos on each of these ideas, but the culture and what people expect on YouTube is for very well edited videos that are under five minutes that have quick cuts and all that stuff. As much as these Snapchat stories are short, by the time I get through my routine, roughly three hours have passed. So my biggest fear with YouTube editing every day is it's going to take roughly another three to five hours on top of it. And YouTube is pretty much like the only platform where you can monetize your videos uh, at the moment. Um, but it's also terrible for discussion. I mean, the best you've got is comments, which is really bad. Instagram just recently copied Snapchat and they can do stories on there now. I haven't played with it yet, but I imagine it's still the same case where most people will consume the content and not so much engage and reply. Okay, so that's all the problems. Sorry if that dragged on. Um, so let's quickly go through like two pretty cool ideas, I think, like one for the producer side and one for the consumer side, um, which I think would be really awesome. Oh yeah, and because um, the YouTube editing would take so long, uh, I haven't been doing that, but I have been downloading my stories on Snapchat and uploading them to YouTube, but it means they're in vertical video format, which I get tons of hate comments. So the ultimate video kind of uh, producer app thing that I would love is something where I can just basically hold the phone in a normal like horizontal way and just ramble about some idea. I think it'd be cool to have two filming modes. So same as Snapchat where you hold down your thumb but no 10 second limit. Basically as long as you hold down your thumb it keeps recording. And then you have another mode where it just does continuous recording like you would normally have on your camera. I think it'd be awesome too if the app actually filmed both in vertical and horizontal video format. So you could hold it this way, you could hold it that way and it wouldn't matter. It would still come out perfect either way. Again, okay, he's a killer feature. So basically, I just keep talking, rambling about an idea, adding any thoughts I think uh, to this daily kind of story. Um, then it will, what it would do is automatically go through and edit that. So for starters, it would do what everyone does on YouTube who edits their videos. It would cut out all the ums, all the pauses. So it's very quick cut thoughts. Uh, very much like what Snapchat already does, but that's just because you're running out of time. Then we look, uh, fuck. Um, so it, it, it would automatically remove those moments just like that, <laughs> where you mess up or you say the wrong things, but you wouldn't have to redo the film. It just so suppose I've just continuously recorded for 10 minutes where I've like ranted about some particular idea, I've messed up, there's pauses, I've said the wrong things, I've like duplicated myself, that gets uploaded to the service with a magic. The service would automatically transcribe everything I'm saying as well, so the cool thing about that is they can actually pull out the articles, the, the videos, the content I'm talking about and find those and automatically edit them into the video. It can then also automatically suggest music and actually edit those in. And so from your perspective, all you've done is literally film for 10 minutes with no editing and now you have a bunch of options of edited videos you can choose. I don't know, maybe you open up the app and like after you film that video um, and you wait say half an hour or whatever for the, for the video to be processed, you then have three options. You can just instantly choose one of those if they suit. Or you can like dive into that video it suggested it's automatically edited into this five minute little inter entertaining nugget and you could go in and dive in and change any option with A, B choices or A, B, C choices. The end result of all of this is that basically like rather than spending the three to five hours it would take to film and edit and make a really compelling three to five minute YouTube video, most of it's done automatically for you. Sure, it'd be very difficult to make this app. Um, <laughs> there's quite a lot of like machine learning and like AI, kind of narrow AI involved, but it's not impossible. It could definitely be built now. In addition, this platform could actually automatically edit the videos uh, for the relevant platform. So with Facebook, it would actually automatically edit the subtitle overlays. For, for Snapchat, it would do vertical video, and for YouTube, it would do it perfectly. And then you just one-click upload to all of them. Okay, consumption side, it'd be really awesome to create the video version of Steemit. Um, so Steemit's this like blockchain based thing where you can earn money um, by writing content and people upload it. It's built on the blockchain. I think you still have an app similar to Snapchat where you can follow users and you can kind of consume it by just like tapping through or like, you know, uh, swiping through and just like seeing all the stories and all the ideas flow through. But primarily it would all be semantically linked. So um, the idea would be that everything you upload, since it's transcribed, this system would automatically link ideas to each other. So obviously right now this little nugget, this little idea is all about the future of video sharing and video platforms and idea sharing. So this video should be linked to any other thoughts about this same topic that you can also watch. And when you reply to this idea, your idea should be added to that same kind of semantic bucket. So that if anyone anywhere in the world is interested in this topic or wants to learn more, they can just add to it and learn from it. 
I mean, that alone no one's done. Like Snapchat, you're following people. Instagram, you're following people. Um, Twitter, you can follow hashtags. YouTube gives recommended videos that are usually irrelevant. Ideally, as I'm uploading this video right now, it should be instantly suggesting to me other thoughts that people have had in this sphere that could add to my own ideas and help me explore this idea and grow and add to it. I mean, I find in 2016, like, it's incredibly difficult to find fresh ideas on the internet. Everything tends to be rehashed blog posts about some news article that's already happened. I want to see new, fresh ideas about the future. And I want to be able to deep dive uh, the collective thoughts of humanity on some particular idea um, and not see, not, not just be given, like, you know, the, the same thought over and over again, but new stuff added. And of course, you should be able to ask questions to the hive mind as well. Like I should, if there's some topic that I'm like really trying to think of an idea or really trying to solve, I should be able to ask a question and then immediately get responses from relevant people. So there you go. Like some type of app that basically removes the video editing process and allows you to very quickly produce really engaging, really information dense content uh, so you can package ideas into little memes. And then some type of next gen social video platform where it actually connects ideas to each other semantically so they're never lost to the ether. And then it encourages people to continuously keep adding value to these ideas. Snappy thoughts, at